In other parliaments, public accounts committees are appointed to scrutinize the value for money of public spending. They hold the government and civil servants to account for the delivery of public services. The question is, does Gibraltar need one? One of the things that we're encouraging uh, the Parliament of Gibraltar to consider, it, it, and uh, we'll be doing this in a gentle and friendly way over the next uh, few months, is the need for a public accounts committee. Uh, every other parliament represented here today has got a public accounts committee which uh, scrutinizes uh, the expenditure of the government on a uh, detailed way that you can't do just in a normal parliamentary sitting. Lord Fauk's message, communicated in a one-to-one -one interview with GBC, had clearly already been delivered separately to the Chief Minister when he addressed the CPA earlier this week. A parliament of 17 cannot operate with the committees and procedures of a parliament of 650. That is why as soon as I was elected as Chief Minister, I established a Commission on Democratic and Parliamentary Reform. The Commission reported that there is no need, and this is a direct quote, to establish a general purpose standing committee or a public accounts committee, given that opposition members have every opportunity to examine government expenditure in detail, as well as debating the report from the principal auditor on the government accounts for every financial year. That may seem anathema to a Westminster politician operating in a parliament in permanent session with 500 members who are not in the executive. But we must understand always that the success of the Commonwealth is in its diversity. There is no point talking about diversity and then not understanding that our parliaments must perforce be different in adopting themselves, adapting themselves to the reality of the communities that we serve. And we must start looking at our different parliamentary models, no less democratic or transparent one from the other, and understanding our differences. For that is how we can be instruments of democracy and prosperity, and not tyrants imposing a one-size-fits-all model which doesn't work for all. Fabian Picardo's one-size-does-not-fit-all argument carried some sway with at least one other member of the House of Lords. At the end of the day, um, the uh, Gibraltar Parliament has to make its own mind up on that. I think the important thing is that whatever the mechanism, there is real accountability um, to the Parliament of the government. But that real accountability is exactly what the GSD opposition believes is lacking locally. This is best practice across the Commonwealth, and I did raise this in Parliament in my motion that was debated last October. And I raised it because on attending the conference in Jersey, I found that there actually was a special group of Commonwealth Public Accounts Committees that was being encouraged at the highest level. And Gibraltar was at risk of being left out, and now we find that we are the only ones that don't have a Public Accounts Committee and obviously are not part of this group. Yeah? So I think the, the timing is understandable, and the, the comments are obviously valid, and from our point of view, welcome. Yeah? Usually, as in the United Kingdom and uh, other countries of the Commonwealth, it's chaired by a member of the opposition, uh, an MP from the opposition party, uh, and then a number of government or opposition backbenchers, but it can also have lay members on it. The principle uh, is that there should be a group of people, uh, preferably chaired by an opposition MP, that would examine the, uh, on a detailed basis, in committee. Um, and in Britain, we have the support of the National Audit Office uh, to, who, do, who do reports to the Public Accounts Committee to make sure that expenditure is um, carried out properly. So, does Gibraltar need a Public Accounts Committee? The government says no, the opposition, yes. What influence external pressure may have, if any, on this argument remains to be seen.